What's up boys, welcome back to JDB Selects. Today we are breaking down the round 7 clash between the Cronulla Sharks and the Manly Sea Eagles. Alright first things first, let's go over the team lists. Cronulla lose Dale Finnegan after he suffered a head knock and failed his HIA against their side's loss to Melbourne. Braden Hamlin UL is also out for the Sharks with a pectoral injury. And finally Sione Katoa returns on the wing following a knee injury. Manly lose Josh Aloyai to a shoulder injury and his place is taken by Taniela Paseka who moves from the bench to the starting side. Sean Kepi is out due to a head knock and is replaced by Ethan Bullimore on the bench. Morgan Harper returns in the centres after Covid protocols left him sidelined and Marty Tapao is still noticeably absent. Now looking at these two sides head to head, it's fair to say they're pretty evenly matched so far in 2022. Both teams have won 4 and lost 2, however the Cronulla side edges Manly on points difference. The only side they have both faced so far in 2022 is Newcastle, with Manly piling on 12 more points than the Sharks did. Cronulla haven't beaten Manly at points bet stadium since 2012 and Manly also go into the game having beaten Cronulla 8 out of the last 10 times they've met. And finally the key matchup. It's pretty obvious that the two number 7s, DCE and Nico, will be critical in determining who walks away with the W. Pines has proven to be one of the best buyers of the season, having scored one try, averaging 393 kicking meters per game, as well as 110 running meters. DCE however is averaging 470 kicking meters, has 11 forced dropouts to Nico's 3, and is a lot more sound in defense. It's going to be a battle of the number 7s and I think DCE comes out on top. And that's my brief round 7 breakdown of the Cronulla Sharks vs the Manly Sea Eagles. Let me know in the comments who you think walks away with the win, and subscribe to stay up to date and never miss a video.